going like halfway, you put an extra strain on the motor trying to lift it. See how that's dropping by itself? What you want to do is just give that, those springs a little bit more tension so it can help the motor lift the door a little bit easier. So tighten the U-bolt on this side. Make sure that's nice and tight. And loosen off the U-bolt on this side. With the motor is loose and also the U-bolt on this side as well. So now we have the motor and the U-bolt loose on this side. We can return back to this side. So now while holding the Stilson's on that shaft nice and tight, you can loosen the U-bolt on this side and you'll start to feel tension on the shaft. And what you want to do is pull down that shaft nice and tight. And tighten, tighten up the U-bolt again nice and tight. And before you lift the door, it's advised to go over and tighten the U-bolt again on the other side. Now we can just try the door, see if it will hold its own weight. Okay. So now we can also re-secure the motor. Now the motor's nice and secure. Now that the door is going to hold its own weight halfway, which is just going to help out the longevity of the motor. Now, after doing this, we will need to reset the limits on the motor as the settings for the motor have changed. So, what you want to do, hold down the close button. This is for the ATA GD06 for six seconds until the close limit starts flashing. You'll hear it start to beep. There it goes. We just want to run the door down again. Run it down until it just touches the ground, not too hard. You can stop it before and just inch it down. Just touches the ground nicely. Press set. Then run it back up. Get the green open button. Until it gets close to the top. And then just slow up and inch it up. There we go, and press set again. And now the door will just run up and down through its cycle, set its force margins again. That's it. Now we've re-tensioned and reset the limits on a roller door. Thank you.